Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much to my subscribers, welcome newcomers. I hope you like what you see and if so, be part of this journey with us by hitting that subscription button right below in red. It's free of charge, you don't pay anything for it and it helps the channel. And also don't forget to hit the bell notifications for new uploads. I want to thank every single one of you for all your beautiful comments and your support. Thank you so much. And I would like to mention that right up top, there's three little buttons. You can click there to slow down the video to the speed you would like if I'm too fast for you. Also, right next to it, there's the uh, CC closed caption. You can turn that on and you can pause the video and take notes of everything that will be written down here on the stitch that I will be calling. In case you don't have the CC up there or the three little buttons on the video up top, there's three little buttons. You just click there on the settings and it's in there you can slow down the video and also turn your closed caption on the next thing i would like to mention is in the description box everything is always listed below there's a little arrow right uh, like a v upside down right below the video on the right side if you click that little arrow everything will be in the description box so i have my facebook page for the crochet i also have a facebook group crochet that you can join if you have a, pr a profile on your facebook and um, you can um, join us in the group it's a private group so of course you have to have a profile if you don't then unfortunately you can't because there's too many scammers going around with the groups and i want to make sure that we're all safe and nobody's going around scamming anybody I see a lot of that in the groups nowadays, and I'm taking myself away from the groups due to that fact, and also the fact that there is some nastiness going on, especially coming out of administration's mouth. That's not a good thing. So I decided to create my own, inviting you to be part of it if you'd like to. Um, what else? So I also would like to mention, if you please want to help to donate for the women in need of thread and yarn, I need your help to buy them the thread and yarn. I have my PayPal account below in the description box. You can donate whatever you feel like. Everything adds up at the end. So we can help these women to get them busy with, you know, creating some pieces and distract their minds from the daily life stress uh, that they might be going through. It could be a mental stress. It could be family stress. It could be mothers alone with children that cannot afford to buy these threads and yarn. So I really want to help them out. And the only way I can do it is by you and I together helping them out. So please be generous and help out. It doesn't matter the amount. And I want to thank you so much um, for helping. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I'm sure they will appreciate you too. Very, very much so. So thank you again. Um, anything else? I hope I'm not forgetting. So normally when I'm calling out the stitch and I say chain one, for space for, and I usually say chain one separation that means for space if your stitch is too tight then do an extra chain so instead of doing one you do two chain if your stitch is too loose then do less one chain also uh, when your stitch is extremely tight you should go with the hook one hook size bigger than your normal that you use because that will help to loosen up the stitch when you're going into the second row and try to put your stitches in okay so thank you so much everybody we're going to get started please also share give a thumbs up on the video it helps to circulate the video and have the channel to be recognized share on your facebook public with your family and friends have them join us together as one big family so thank you so much everybody i send much hug and love to every single one of you and many blessings from the universe thank you so much everyone Okay, everyone, so today we're going to create this beautiful doily that I had created years ago. So it's been tucked away. It's My poor flowers are all like bent and everything, but once it's pressed, it will go, all get into place. So I've already done the tutorial on the flowers. I will link below if you want to create it with flowers. You don't have to. You can leave without the flowers. The flowers are hot gun glued in top of the pattern, so you don't have to do it but I think it gives it a beautiful charm. So you need six of it for this size of pattern. Now with this pattern, you can go as big as you like. You can do a tablecloth. You just have to keep increasing here 
because until the 17th row, then I start decreasing for the doily. But you can increase and keep going bigger and bigger uh, for a tablecloth. So we're going to start this. With this one, I did white and um, sort of beige yellowish. And then this is the multicolored red, like strawberry red. But I'm using terracotta, multicolored terracotta. There's a pearl and then sort of like a lime green and you need six flowers as i mentioned before so we're going to get started on this i can't remember what was the size of the story by the way this story when i created years ago i did with number 10 and lydia so for a lot of you that use number 10 this is perfect for you i will be using number four today which will make it bigger So this is 46 centimeters, um, anyway, around, okay? So six flowers, six pearls, if you're using the pearls, okay? And we're going to get started on this. So I use 100% four ply. Hook, size three, a small one to tuck in loose ends, and a pair of scissors. Let's get started, everyone. I'm going to do the magic circle. I'm starting off with white. I want it to be similar with the two tones that I have on that one. So I'll be using the white and then the yellowish off-white, if you want to call it beige color. So magic circle. In here we're going to do three double crochets and two more for turning. So a total of five double crochet again. Just gonna pull on it for some of you that cannot do the magic circle do uh, chain six okay two chain separation and double crochet we're gonna have a total of 12 double crochets separated by two chains this is row one I'll meet you at the end so we have the 12 double crochets done Two chain. I'm coming in my third chain. One, two, and three with a slip stitch. I'm going to pull into my magic circle and close it up. Then I'll tuck in the, th the thread in between the loops here at the end or at some point. Okay, so we're going to do one, two chain for me. That would equal a double crochet. Three chain for some of you. On the same space, double crochet. Next space, not next space, sorry, in between the, the, um, what am I talking about? Sorry, people. Always look ahead of the video before you create anything. Sometimes mistakes can be done. So I'm going to do um, chain two. I'm coming into the next space and again creating two double crochets on the same space. These are the increases. Next space. Two double crochet. Two chain. Now we're going to increase this until row. Um, so I'm going to change color row on row nine so i'm going to continue the same color until row eight complete row eight and then row nine i'm changing color and then this is going to go until row um 17. let me just confirm here a second yes it's going to go until row 17. so we're always going to repeat the same thing doesn't matter how many times you change your color it will always be repeated the same way. So we're always going to do an increase at the beginning of the double crochet. Okay, so this is row two, two chain separation, and two double crochets on the same space. I'll meet you at the end. Okay, so I closed in with the slip stitch on the third chain. I'm going to do one two chains for me for you could be three if your stitch is too tight 
double crochet on the same space and on the next space I'm going to do a double crochet so we're increasing so basically we started with one two three four five six until 17 double crochets always an increase at the beginning two double crochets together on the first space two chain separation until row 17 just like that so I'm going to continue mine after row 8 I'm changing my color as you can see here there is a difference of the colors I have the white and then I have like a beige yellow very light yellowish beige of course the white will look the same but this is a different color it looks the same but it I don't think it's the same I think this one gives it a little bit more tone of a little bit yellowishy but this is close enough so as you can see I have it until row 8 white and then I went to row 17 with the same color and then after row 17 I went back on the white and then at the edge I completed with this color so this is what I'm going to do row 9 I will have the different color until row 17 I'll meet you at the end of row 17 and also want to remind you if you find that your stitch is too too tight instead of doing two chain do three but you should be okay with two we don't want it to be too loose here either okay so I'll meet you at the end okay everyone so I pretty much finished doing my 12 motives row 17 so you're supposed to have 17 double crochets I'm going to go back into my white now it's going to change a bit I'm going to show you here on the one that's made so we're going to have one pattern or one design here we're going to increase and then the next one we're going to decrease and then increase and then decrease do you see the difference so this becomes wider and this becomes thinner okay so we'll start with the increase I've changed my color and at this point we can start anywhere it doesn't make any difference So on my first double crochet here, I'm going to do single and one chain. I'm going to do another double crochet in the same space. So with the increase ones, we're going to do two double crochets at the beginning and two double crochets at the end. And then one double crochet per space. So now I'm doing one double crochet per space. And I'll meet you at the end. So I've reached the end. I have 17 double crochets. And I'm going to add two on the same space. So I'll be having 19 double crochets. Now, we used to be doing chain two. We're going to start doing chain three. We're going to skip this one and we're going into the next one. So on this motive, we always skip the first and the last. Whoops. And then one per space. So you will always have to alternate. One motive is to increase and the next one to decrease. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end of this one. So I've come to the end and I have 15 double crochets. So now we know that on this one is decrease, the next one is increase. So we're doing the same thing as we did here. So chain three, always now. Going to the first one and do two double crochets together. And at the end, we're going to do the two double crochets together. All of the other ones is one per space. Okay. I'll meet you at the end again just to confirm. I'm at the end. We're going to do two double crochets in the same space. So I'm at 19 double crochets again. We're going to repeat this one, the decrease again. 
three chain, skip the first one, go into the second one, one per space, and we don't do the last double crochet. So we'll be having 15 double crochets. We're going to repeat this all the way around. So one is increase and one is decrease. Okay, I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, so we finished doing row 18. So we are back. I close in with the slip stitch. We are back to do the increase. So two chain for me could be three for you, depending upon your stitch. So the increase is always two at the beginning, two double crochets on the first double crochet, and two at the end, and then one per space. Now, this is not going to be any different than row 18. We are on row 19. So we're doing increase and decrease, and this is going to continue on until we get to where our motive decreases five double crochets until we get to the top. So we're decreasing here now. So we have 15. So then we're going to go 13 and then 11 and so on until we have five left. So the only difference is going to change uh, from here in is just a chain. So now we, we did three here. Now we're going to do four chain. We don't want it to be um, pulling too much, right? So I'll meet you at the end over here. So I've reached the end and I've did my increase. So I did at the beginning and I've did at the end. Now I'm going to do one, two, three, and four. If your chain is too loose, then do only three. We don't want it to be too baggy either. So we're doing the decrease. We skip the first one and we continue on. So what does that mean? That means that the next row you're going to do five chain, six chain, seven chain, eight chain, until we get to um, our um, five double crochets only on the decrease one, okay? So what you can do is you can always fast forward and see how it's been done. I'm going to continue mine, and then I'll meet you as soon as we have only five left. Of double crochet where the motive of the decreases everything else stays the same and the chains we keep adding one chain per row now depending upon your stitch if it's too loose then then don't uh, increase the chains just keep as is until you need to increase one and if you're too tight extremely tight for that matter then you can do uh, an extra chain uh, to make sure that it has to fall into place nicely okay so I will meet you on my five double crochets on my motive of the decrease. Like I said, you could always fast forward, okay? Okay, everyone. So basically I did my, until my five double crochets. Now with this row here, you're supposed to proceed with nine chain. I'm going to do 10, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And I'm going to proceed the same way. Skip the first. Do your three double crochets. And skip the last. And again, one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And the and the increase, we still continue with the increase. So nothing changes on that. So basically it's just a chain that we're increasing to ten and not doing nine. Because normally, I mean we we finished off here with three, then four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I guess we are okay. I don't know what was I thinking. Okay, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep. Yeah. So ten. So it's ten, not nine. I don't know what was I thinking. But anyway, you continue um, to do your three double crochet. Now the next row, we're gonna change up the game a bit. 
So I'll meet you at the end of this row. Okay, everyone. So we pretty much finished doing the row with the three double crochets. I've slip stitched in and I did chain two. Now this row, this is the before last row. Okay. So we have two rows, this one and the next one. Now we're not increasing any longer. It's one per space. So you do not increase. You do not put two in the same space. You put one per space on this row all the way around. It's just going to change on the chain. We're going to be doing 12 chains instead of 11. And we'll, in the space here, we're doing two singles. We're not doing no more double crochet. So I'll meet you at the end of this one here. So I'm reaching the end here. And one double crochet. So we're doing one double crochet at the beginning of this row, which is row, let me check. So 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 22, 23, 24, 25, row 25. Okay, one double crochet and one double crochet at the end. Now we're going to do chain 12. Not chain 11. I know we did the 10 here, but we're doing 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Now coming where we have the three double crochets, I'm coming in with a single. Next phase single so we have two singles and we're going to proceed the same way again chain 12 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and 12. i'm coming in only one double crochet no increase and we have only one more row after this which i'll be using my cream yellowish pale color to close up the pattern Okay, so we're going to repeat this all the way around. So one double crochet at the end, one at the beginning. No increase on the pattern. Okay, everyone, so I pretty much finished the row with the two singles. We did one at the beginning, one at the end. Now, this row is going to be the last row. So you have to pay attention because we have to work on each pattern and then go to the second one, like back and forth. Hold on, show you in a second. So we come in with this. Well, if you're using the same color, all you have to do is make your two chains or three chains going up. If you're changing color, do a single, two chains. On the same space, we're going to do that increase of the two double crochets. Next space, one double crochet per space. And we're going to do this until the end. And at the end, we're going to do the two increase also. Okay. This is the last row. I'll meet you at the end. So this is what it looks like. Two at the beginning, two at the end. Now. This is what I mean. We're going to work back and forth on the same pattern before we continue on. So we're going to turn our pattern to the back. So now we're working on the back side. We're going to go into the same double crochet, which is the first double crochet with a single, two, and three chains. We're going to do triple crochet. So we're going to skip one, two, three on your fourth one. We're doing triple. Let me just check my pattern here for a second. Okay, so on the same space, we're going to do four more triples. So we're going to have a total of triple crochets on the same space. I have three, four, and five. So we have five triples on the same space. Again, we're going to skip one, two, three on the fourth one. We're going to repeat the triple, five triples 
on the same space. This pattern is gorgeous. You can go the size you like by keep adding on the rows here for a tablecloth. Again, one, two, three on the fourth. Again, you do your um, five triple crochets, okay? And I missed one here, so got to come back. So I get distracted talking, right? But no biggie, wasn't a big, big mistake. Just a few to take down. Okay, so we have the five. One, two, three, and on the fourth. Okay, so then you continue doing this. Um, and you can always advance ahead, and I'm going to continue to go all the way to the end here. So we're getting at the end, and at the end, I'm going to go into our first single and two chain we did with a double crochet. Now we're going to turn our pattern around again. So basically, you're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven triple groups okay so now here we're going to do one two three three um chain i'm going to do a picot with a single one two three four and five into the same space picot with a single one two three, picot with a single. So now you got your three picots, three chain, five chain, three chain. Okay. Now we're going to do the triple again, coming into the first triple here, and we're going to do it incomplete. Okay. So doing the triple, the five triples, again and complete and the last one here now we're going to take it out all at once one two three four five and six i'm going to come down into the third chain and picot one, two, three, four, five, same space, and picot with a single one, two, three, three. Sorry, come into the same space, single. So now we have another picot here at the edge, chain two, one, two. We're going to repeat the process with the um, triple. Incomplete So this is the second triple third fourth and fifth Okay, so we have one two three four five six on the hook Take it out all at once. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Come back on your third chain and close it. One, two, three, four, and five. Come back on the same chain, same space, and close it with single. One, two, and three. Come back into the same space and close it again with single. So now we have our second picot there. And we're going to continue to do this all the way to the end. 
and then I'll come back to you so we can move on to the next motive, which was the, the decrease uh, motive, right? Close it all together and chain six, two, three, four, five, and six. Come back one, two, three, your third chain. Single, two, three, four, and five. Come back in the same space and single, one, two, and three. And again, single. Chain two. And go ahead, complete your, your triples again. So this is what it's starting to look like. I'll meet you at the end. Okay, you guys, so we are on our last one, on our last peacocks here. So I've done... I've done the peacock, and now I am going... To come directly exactly in between both rows here with a single so basically this is going to um, stay like the one here on this side right now we are going to do chain nine one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm gonna come back three space. One, two, and three. On my fourth space, I'm gonna do another peacock. One, two, three, four, five. On the same space, again, another peacock. So we're still doing a peacock. It's one, two, and three. And peacock. So we have another peacock here. Chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to come where my single is. And I'm coming right in where the single is with a single. One, two, three, and four. And I'm going to come in as a peacock just to get that little effect going. And then again, chain nine, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm gonna come back on my fourth space, one, two, three, and four. And I'm gonna close it in a single, one, two, three, four, five. We're doing the peacocks. We have to have both sides the same way. Same space, close it in, one, two, and three. And in the same space, again, close it in with single. So we have the other peacock here. And then chain six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And we're going to come... right in the first one here and close it in. One, two, three, peacock. One, two, three, four, five, on the same space, peacock, and one, two, and three. Same space, peacock. Now, We are going to do, just check, here we're going, just give me a second here, sorry I had made a mistake here, we have to go back and do our, our um, double crochet, so no picot here yet, it's only in the middle of the two rows, so basically we're coming in and doing the two double crochets exactly like we did at the beginning. 
So two double crochets, the increase, and we repeat the same thing as we did with this one here. So we did a two increase and we did two increase at the end and we turned our pattern around. We did um, chain three, a single and two chain, and then skip one, two, three on the four to do your five triples, right? But I'll, I'll come to you at the end. So let's continue doing the double crochet per space. Coming to the end, we're going to do two together, and then we're going to turn our pattern around. Okay, so we did one per space, came to the end, we did the increase. We're going to turn our pattern around again the same way. Now, if you need to rewind and go through it again, then by all means, and I have a knot on my, on my pattern. Okay, so we're coming into the same space with a single like we did. And one, two chain. Now we're going to do the triple skip one, two, three. Yes. One, two, three on your fourth. You start with the incomplete triple. a five incomplete triple crochet in the same space and we repeat everything all over again. Now if you need to and then close it at once. If you need to rewind it and uh, redo it then go ahead. Okay? We're going to repeat the same thing again one two three four five what am I doing? Not thinking properly, it's not the incomplete. Oh my goodness. So some days are just you know doing the um the five triple crochets, not the incomplete. It's the next row that's the incomplete. Sorry about that, people. My hands are getting tired, they're starting to slip out of the hook. So again, one, two, three on your fourth, your five triples in the same space. So like I said, if you need to rewind a bit to restart and look how we proceeded, then go ahead. We're going to finalize this uh row one two three and on the fourth and we're going to continue to do the five triples so i'm going to continue until here and then i'll come back with you again so again we have our seven groups we're going to do a double crochet here on the last one. We're going to turn around like we did and we're going to create our peacocks now. One, two, three into the same space. One, two, three, four, five into the same space. One, two, and three into the same space. And now we're going to create the five triple incomplete and proceed the same way as we just finished doing. So like I said, if you need to rewind it, then go ahead. Oops. And now we close it all together. One, two, three, four, 
five and six. Come back on your third chain and close it. One, two, three, four, five chain. Come back on the same one. Close it with single. So we're doing the peacocks. Chain three again and again. Chain two. And proceed again with the five and complete triple. Okay, so if you need to rewind, go ahead. I'm going to continue with mine. And then I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, so we're pretty much finished doing all of our design. And now we're going to do the... Um, multicolored now you can use green if you're using the green or you can go with your original color and this is very simple so we're going to do a slip stitch knot and where we have the the uh, motive here with the G crease we're going to start on there okay so basically you would come where you have your two double crochets and you'd come in between the two of them creating a single. So we're going to do a single per each row, okay, in the same space. Now, next row, we're going to grab the outside so the last, let me just show you here. So the last double crochet here. You will see it better once I complete. So we're going to grab the last one. Or should I say the first one here? And we're going to do two singles. Next row in between two singles. Next row in between. Two singles. And we're going to do this all the way to the top. So let me just show you here a second. So you're grabbing the outside double crochet, that means this one here, and then this one here, and then this one here, and you continue on. So we're going to continue all the way to the top. Once we get there, I'll come back to you on it. Okay, so we're all the way to the top on where we have the three double crochet. So basically what you're grabbing is where we used to put like um, the two, no, no, this is the, um, not the increase, sorry. This is the decrease. So you're grabbing one double crochet. And so on the last one we have three. So we're grab we're using one, doing the two singles. Now I'm gonna do one chain And I'm going to come in where we have that single that we did. We did two singles here. So I'm just going to go right in the middle here between the two singles. And I'm going to do a slip stitch, one, two, and three. I'm going to come back in and do a small picot and then one chain again 
and I'm coming down the other side of the double crochet. So I'm coming back in on the other double crochet and doing the two singles again. Next row, coming in the double crochet and doing the two singles again. And it's going to be all the way down to the very first one to where more or less where we started. So let me just show you. So we're going to come down here and then I'll meet you down here. I thought it wasn't light enough. Okay, so I've come down to exactly the one where I started. Now, just open this up for you. So, we started on the second row and we took always one double crochet. Went all the way to the top and then took one double crochet coming down. Now we're going to skip this motive here. We're going to come into the next one. So basically we're going to do a single on here and then go right into the next double crochet here and then do the outside double crochet. So very simple people, not complicated at all. So now we're going to come in. I'm going to do a single here. And I'm going to skip this double crochet here, which is from the other motive. And I'm doing a single on the next one. So let me just show you. So we skip this one here. We did a single in here right away. Skip one double crochet and into this one here. So now we're just going to turn our pattern again and we're going to come in and grab the first double crochet. We have two double crochets there, so we're taking one and continue to do. I don't want my stitch to lose, so it won't look pretty. And do the two singles. And we're going up again. So next row we have three double crochet. We're taking one and doing the two singles. Next row we have the four double crochets. We're taking one. Next row. And we're going to proceed the same way again all the way to the top. So we're always going to take one double crochet here. So basically, which I don't know why I got confused earlier, we have the two double crochets, right? On the decrease here, we have the two double crochets. So we take one, correct? Take one, and we're going to go all the way to this one here, two singles. We're going to do one chain. And once we do one chain, we're going to come in from here and here and do your picot. And then one chain again after doing the three chain for picot, close in with a single. We do one chain, we're grabbing this one here, coming down, doing two singles, doing two singles, doing two singles, all the way down here again. And then we come in. And do a single here. We skip this double crochet, which is this motive, and we come in and do a single here and go directly and create again the two singles on this one. So I'm going to continue mine and I'll come back to you at the end of it. So you're going to have six of these done because we only do them on this. This one is for the flower. This is where we put the flower on this one. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, so I'm pretty much coming to the end. And I'm just arriving where I first started. So this is very simple. It's nothing to it. So we're going to do that single, right? 
the single right in between the double crochets and we're just going to skip the motive here so that means we're going to skip one double crochet the first one down here with the single I don't want my thread to be too loose because then it doesn't look pretty okay so we did the single there now I'm just going to come into the first one here with a slip stitch and so I can cut it off and now we are going to proceed gluing the flowers on. So I have these threads here which I'm going to tuck in in between. In between the loops back here. And I'm going to pull this one too. Now, because this is a bigger one, I'm going to make a knot on it. Like this, I'm sure that nothing is ever going to come apart. Pretty much done with it. Just cut my excess out. And of course, being a size four uh, thread, so I still have this one here that we started. So I'm just gonna pull in my string here and I'm gonna come through the back. And pull in through the loops back here. Make sure that well secured and then I'm going to make a knot also on one of them here just so it does not come apart pull that little knot and then come and do a few more back here and like this we can wash we can do whatever we like we know that nothing is going to come apart now I'm going to warm up my hot gun glue which is transparent glue you can buy that at Dollar Tree, Dollar Store, Dollar Rama, and get the transparent glue, not white or anything like that, because then it won't stick as good. And there it is. So it's way much bigger pattern. And I'm going to um, warm up my gun my hot gun glue and we're going to put the flowers on so I pressed ironed my um, doily for some of you if you like it to have it a nice nice and hard then you can start uh, spray it it's perfect because that one has starch on it this one doesn't so you place your your flower in the empty where you didn't do the design so on the bigger piece and you place it properly make sure that you have your pearls faced the proper way and have it placed exactly where you would like it to be now this doesn't take too much what I did was I put a little bit of aluminum foil underneath because I don't want the glue to go through so just fixing it a bit here so I can have it exactly how I'd like it to be placed. And I'm just going to put a little bit. We don't need too much glue. I'm just going to spread a bit amongst the leaves and everything because I wanted to have it really uh, glued down to my pattern. And then you would do the same thing on the other flowers. You place them where you want to and have everything placed down properly. Compress a bit. And that's pretty much it. I will have the end result on my table so you can see what it looks like. Now remembering the thicker you go on the yarn or thread, the bigger your pattern will be. 
and if you want it to go longer then just add more rows like I mentioned earlier on the video you can add more rows here and then you could even do two or three flowers on the space depending upon the on the bigness of your pattern so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial thank you so much um, for being here and creating these beautiful pieces with me and uh, please don't forget to give a thumbs up it's important to have the video circulate and um, thank you so much everybody sending you lots of hugs and love and i will have the reveal shots at the end uh, pictures maybe a little video thank you everyone take care and take care of each other bye bye